Hello there and welcome to another video review. This is a hardware review and I'm Jim Bell 404. <clears throat> now today's review will be on the Western Digital TV HD media player, which basically is a device that interfaces between the TV and an external hard drive. Now if you have an external hard drive with media on it, the Western Digital TV will essentially allow you to send that media from the hard drive onto the TV. Now it's very connective and it has the best and high definition connections with HDMI but it also features composite for standard definition TVs or for those who are making the transition between standard definition and high definition. It also features optical and two USB ports. We're going to have a look at how this device performs and what it actually looks like. Okay, on the back of the device we have the DC jack, one USB port, the HDMI port, an optical audio connection, composite video, and stereo RCA connectors. On the left hand side of the device we have one USB port. Note there are no connections on the right hand side of the device. So here's the remote, you've got all the different buttons on it from power and home to fast forward and rewind etc and down the bottom search and eject. Okay if you have a look at the bottom shelf above the DVD recorder you have the external hard drive and the device itself. So we can start the device up. Okay, initially it starts by scanning the device and finding what files are on it. Okay, once it's started up, we can use the remote control to control what parts of the device we want to use. So I'm going to have a look at video right now. And you can resume the playback from where you previously showed it if it was the last video to be shown. <laughs> so I'm watching The Dark Knight here. Okay, well, quality is very good on it. And now we're going to have a look at some music. Also skip through the song. So fast forwarding through it. All right. Now let's listen to the music whilst you're on the menu. And to pause it, you just go back into music and then pause. Okay. Next, we'll look at photographs. All right. I haven't got very many photographs on this, but. Basically, it just shows you the photograph. Now, you can't actually skip through to the next image. So what would I give this device out of 10? Well, I would probably give it 8, right? For the main reasons that first of all it's lacking component video, which isn't a problem for me, but a lot of people will see this as a problem. And second of all, the fact that well, the price is 80 quid for something that basically just outputs media from a hard drive is clever, but doesn't really add up. Um, also, the other thing that brought this down was the fact that it doesn't feature FireWire or eSATA. Now, there are 
both really, really superior standards. And although we won't really notice the difference in speed, especially when playing video, there is obviously going to be that slight delay and there will be issues with it when you're loading large HD videos. So I would recommend buying this device, especially for anyone who owns an external hard drive already, which has multiple connections such as USB, FireWire and eSATA like I do, because it makes it so much easier than having to connect your hard drive every time and it also allows transfer of data very quickly. Now, also, I would recommend this for anyone who has a HD TV, but if you've got standard definition TV, I would just go for the standard version. There is a standard version out there, obviously, which only has the standard definition connections, no HD connections. Now, also, I also heard, I noticed that the power supply started making some buzzing sounds, which sounds a wee bit scary, to be honest. It sounds as though there's a few errors. Also, when you press buttons on the remote, the power supply goes crazy. So thanks for watching my video and uh, please rate and comment and also check out the website.